Y'all, look who finally made a video. We got a video finally. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me again. This time I'm back with a different kind of video. So a uh, very simple, basic hair tutorial on how I do quick buns. Uh, bun is my go-to lazy style when I need my hair to look decent. And I don't want to put an effort into actually doing my hair. So stay tuned um, and I hope you like it. Something that prompted me to do this video is I think a lot of times when we see people doing buns with natural hair, there can be a fixation on wanting to get your hair as smooth and silky and non-coarse as possible. And there may be a time and a place where you really want that style, you know, you want that sleek finish, but it takes a lot of effort to achieve because, you know, as you know, our hair is coarse and it likes to coil up so it's got that texture to it you know so you put in a lot of effort to give it that sleek smooth finish you brush it you put a lot of gel a lot of product with good hold um, and there's a time and place for that but sometimes that can put really unrealistic expectations on your and styling. make styling your hair less fun than it should be so i thought it's good to you know talk about this and show that you know styling your hair shouldn't always be about getting it to look entirely different from what it naturally wants to do you know we style our hair to enhance our hair's beauty and enhance our overall beauty so it should be fun you know and not be painstaking and a really frustrating process where you're combing and brushing your hair and you're frustrated because you know you've got the kinky texture um so i hope this resonates with people let me know in the comments if you think this is a common thing that a lot of naturals feel when they're styling their hair oh that's enough talking for me i hope you enjoy the video it's very quick um i started off with hair that was in twists left my hair in twists overnight because it rained so my hair was shrunken and it was about to be tangled i said no let me be responsible put it in twists just to stretch it out um so i could put it in a bun just showing you guys the products that I'm going to be using today. I'm using this leave-in conditioner, which I've been using for years and I love. And I'm just putting it in my spray bottle and I add in some water to make a nice moisturizing spray that I use on my hair when styling. And I'll be using this Talia Wajid Curl Sealer that I love. It doesn't flake up, so it's perfect um, to just use on the go and quickly okay so these were the twists in my hair and i'm just gonna be unraveling them i sped up this section because i think we all know how to unravel twists um i got a pretty decent um nice stretch it seems you wouldn't even know my hair was tangled and looking crazy over the weekend um twists are really my go-to for a quick stretch um and i literally did these twists as i was in bed sleepy last night um and that's what they look like when they're all out got a pretty decent stretch and you can see a bit of the curl definition okay i'm feeling it feeling myself but let's get into actually styling this hair and giving myself a nice bun so i've just taken my spray bottle that has water and leave-in conditioner i use that to just refresh and moisturize my hair and i'm focusing it on the perimeter of my hair because that is a very thin, that's where you've got a lot of thin hair and it's a very delicate area. Sometimes we forget to give our nape, especially some TLC and our edges. I'm now taking a hair tire. This is a completely um, gentle and soft hair tire. There's no metal parts. I don't use hair tires that have a metal um, component to them because often hair gets caught on it. Um, and it rips so it defeats the purpose you know of using styling aids to help style your hair because they're just damaging your hair um so i just i'm trying to get all this hair in a bun and i want the bun to be a little bit higher up um but also still in the center um so your girl got a big forehead so i don't tend to do low buns because it just exposes your girl's forehead and i look like mega mind so we do high buns so i've slowed down this section um, so that you can see that i'm taking that excess hair that was sticking out from my bun and i'm just tucking it in underneath um, inside my actual bun so that it's got a nice neat finish um, i didn't do this bun super super tight so there's a lot of hair that's still sticking out um, so i just want to tuck that in inside my hair so i've got a nice clean 
finish so that it looks really neat um, and professional because I've got a lot of meetings with clients that I'm in. So, you know, I have to look professional and whatnot. So all that hair is now in a bun and I'm just smoothing it down a bit. I'm happy with it. I've now taken some hair gel. I'm just going to apply that um, to the hair and especially around that edges area where I've got shorter hair that frizzes up just to, you know, make it a bit more neat and tidy. Um, I just use a little bit of gel in just my hands. I'm not trying to have a sleek finish. So I don't need lots of gel layered onto like onto my hair and I don't need to bring out a brush for this. Um, like I was saying, you know, this is just an everyday bun. I'm not trying to do a super, super neat, sleek bun. And I'm done. This is my go-to lazy style. I hope you enjoyed this video.